To know more, follow and subscribe to Upgrad. Planning on attending an agile methodology interview and wondering about all the questions and discussions you will go through. Agile methodology has recently gained traction in the industry with an increasing number of companies incorporating the concept into their organizational structure. So, here's a guide to agile based interview questions and answers to understand the depth and intentions behind the questions. Question 1. What is agile testing? Agile testing is a practice based on the principles of agile software development. It includes all members of an agile team with specific skills and a certain expertise to ensure the timely delivery of a product with the release of additional features at frequent intervals. Question 2. How is agile methodology different from the traditional waterfall process? In agile methodology, features of the software are delivered frequently. so that the testing activity is done simultaneously with the development activity testing time is shortened as only small features need to be tested at once while in the waterfall model testing activities take place at the end of the entire development process testing time in this case as long as the entire product is to be tested in one go question 3 what are the pros and cons of agile methodology pros of agile methodology Speedy and continuous delivery of the software ensures customer satisfaction. All the stakeholders are involved in the process which leads to technical excellence and good design. It facilitates close interaction between business people and developers. Its flexibility ensures adaptation to changing circumstances. However, it does have some disadvantages too. Sometimes when software deliverables are large ones, It is tough to determine the effort level required at the beginning of the software development life cycle. In agile methodology, documentation and designing take a back seat. The decision making, which is crucial for the development process, comes only with seniority and experience. Question 4. What is the difference between extreme programming and scrum? Scrum teams usually have to work in iterations which are known as sprints. that generally last from 2 weeks to 1 month while the xp teams work in the iteration lasts from 1 to 2 weeks xp teams are more flexible as they can change their iterations while scrum teams do not allow any change in their iterations question 5 explain the lean methodology in detail lean software development method aims at increasing the speed of software development and decreasing the cost The basic idea of lean is to reduce non-value added activities in order to increase customer value. Question 6. Is there any difference between incremental and iterative development? Yes. The iterative methodology is a process of software development without any interruption, whereas the incremental model is a process of software development where the product is designed, implemented and tested incrementally until the product is finished. Question 7. What are burn down and burn down charts in agile methodology? To track the progress of an ongoing project, these charts are used. Burn up charts indicate the work that has been completed, while a burn down chart shows the amount of remaining work in a project. Question 8. Explain pair programming and its benefits. The combined effort in the team where one programmer writes the code and other one reviews it is called pair programming. There are several benefits of pair programming. It improves the quality of code. It facilitates knowledge transfer. It reduces the chance of mistakes. Question 9. What is the scrum of scrums? The term scrum of scrums is used when there are multiple teams involved in a project. It refers to the scaling of the daily scrum meeting. In this scenario, each team is responsible for conducting and leading its separate scrum meeting. Question 10. What is the velocity of a sprint and how it is measured? Velocity is one of the planning tools used to estimate the speed of the work and time of completion of the project. The calculation of velocity is done by reviewing the work that the team has successfully completed during earlier sprints. Question 11. What are some qualities that a good agile tester must have? A competent agile tester must possess the following qualities. capability to understand the requirements quickly awareness of the agile principles concepts and values listed in an agile manifesto ability to prioritize work based on the requirements 
excellent communication skills. Question 12. List some responsibilities that a scrum team has to undertake. Some of the major responsibilities that a scrum team has include breaking down the requirements, creating tasks, estimating and distributing the created tasks, organizing daily sprint meetings, ensuring that every functional feature is delivered on time. Question 13. Mention the principles of agile testing. The principles of agile testing are continuous testing, continuous feedback, simple and clean code, less documentation. Question 14. Differentiate between Agile methodology and Scrum. While Agile methodology is used for project management, Scrum is ideal for projects where the requirements change rapidly. In the Agile methodology, leadership holds the most pivotal position, whereas Scrum encourages the creation of a self-organizing and cross-functional team. Question 15. What are the crucial Agile matrices? Some of the essential Agile matrices are Velocity Work Category Allocation Defect Removal Awareness Cumulative Flow Diagram Sprint Burndown Matrix Deliver Business Value Time Coverage Defect Resolution Time Question 16 Explain Sprint Zero in Agile Methodology In Agile Methodology, Sprint Zero refers to the first step that comes before the first sprint. So, it is more like a pre-step to the first sprint. Thus, Sprint Zero would include a host of activities that are completed before starting a project, that is, before beginning the actual development process. Question 17. Explain the role of a Scrum Master. The Scrum Master is the leader and supervisor of the Scrum team. Some of the most crucial responsibilities of the Scrum Master are to eliminate all the obstacles that could hamper the productivity of the Scrum team to establish a productive and collaborative work environment for the Scrum team, to protect the team from the interruptions and distractions of the outside world, to maintain a good relationship between the teams, clients and all the other stakeholders involved in a project, to supervise the operations of the Scrum team and motivate them as and when needed. Question 18. Differentiate between Sprint Planning Meeting and Sprint Retrospective Meeting. A sprint planning meeting involves all the scrum roles coming together to discuss the project priorities and backlog items and is a weekly event that lasts for about an hour. A sprint retrospective meeting on the other hand is one where all the scrum roles come together to discuss the good and bad elements of the sprint and the sprint improvements and is a monthly event that lasts up to two to three hours. Although these agile interview questions are selected from a vast pool of probable questions, they are the ones you are most likely to face. If you wish to make a flourishing software development career, don't wait. Master Agile Methodology.